Pastor Marvin here with Step of Faith Ministries. About a month ago, I can remember my wife was getting ready for work early in the morning. And right about the time when she was ready, she grabbed her purse and her wallet. And she started to comb through her purse and it seemed like she was looking for something. All the while, she was looking for her debit card and she couldn't find it. And that put a kink in her program because every day before she get to work, she liked to stop at Dunkin' Donuts and get her a coffee. So with this new revelation that she can't find her debit card or it's missing or she lost it, she started asking everybody in the house, have we seen her debit card? So when she, when her time came to me and asking me, she said, babe, have you seen my debit card? And I was feeling some type of way because it was still early in the morning and I wasn't trying to get up. But since I did get up, I was up with an attitude and I don't know why, but I responded to her like this. Babe, I don't understand why you keep losing your card. If you ain't gonna put the card inside your wallet, you might as well return the wallet and get your money back and then I can understand why you can't keep up with nothing. Responded to my wife like that, I knew she wasn't coming off none that night. I kind of wish I would have read my Bible before I had this response with my wife and listened to James when he said in chapter 1, verse 19, Therefore, beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to anger. If I would have listened to James before I had that response to my wife, I'm pretty sure my response would have been something like this. Did you say you can't find your card? What was the last place you seen it? That probably would have been the best response for me. Because after all, I was the one the night before that went inside of her purse and took her debit card because I had to go get me some ice cream and a couple of Twix bars. And I was the one that forgot to put it back in her purse because it was in my wallet the whole time. So the moral of the story is, before you decide to try to go nuclear like Kim Jong-un, make sure that you Dot your I's and cross your T's. And by the way, be slow to speak and try listening sometime. Have a good one. Pastor Marvin.